Recent figures show that private rents are rising faster than mortgage costs. Across Britain, more than 800 properties are repossessed every week. Wingham, Kent. High Court enforcement agents Paul Bowhill and Phil Short are on their way to repossess a cottage where the tenant owes over £3,000 in rent. This is just so tight round here, isn't it? It was very picturesque, though. It is, yeah. Almost feels like you've got to have a tractor to live around here, doesn't it? Yeah. But the team aren't here to collect the unpaid rent. They're here to evict tenant Andrew Bowman today. And he's now out of ICU and he's hopefully going to be home by Friday. Huh. OK, locksmith, if you'd like to work your magic, yeah, there's yeah, obviously okay. nobody in. The note on the door implies the property is empty, but a twitch of the blinds upstairs suggests otherwise. He's in. He's in? Yeah. Okay. He's seen you. Hello. Mr Bowman. No, he's not here. Right, I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. We yeah. have a repossession order for this property today. Do you? <clears throat> we do, yeah. Oh, well, I'll get clear with that point, then. Yes. There's no immediate rush, in as much that if he's got... Is, is he actually in hospital he or something? Hospital, yeah. You didn't realise that, obviously. I can sort it out. Is there anything you need now? Uh, I'll grab a few bits, if that's all right, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We normally allow an hour for that. Staying but, uh, in the OK, you're a friend of him, we'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, if it closes the lock, I'll come back with a puck later and clear yeah. it out for That's fine. All right, so thank you. What's your name? Uh, Paul Stevens. Oh, so there you go. Paul Bowhill. <laughs> nice to meet you. Right, and look, who's this? Oh, I'm dog sitting as well. <laughs> really? No, I've got to sort that back in the What's the matter? What's the, what's wrong with him? He's uh, had quite a bit bowel of cancer. Really? Think, yeah. So is all this, this is all bad timing then? This is all awful timing for him, yeah. Is it his rent arrears by the look of it? He's yeah. not paid the rent for a while. Is um, there any problems know. like that? He said he was struggling with it, but. Well, um, he, he, he owes too late, what he owes, isn't it? He didn't say it to me. It's 3,200. If he pays that, is it done? I doubt it. Well, Where is he now this minute? I mean, does he need to be told? I shall phone him very shortly, mate. Yeah, he can't right. talk to me. He's got a tube down his throat. Now. Has he? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Where is he now? Is he interested in hospital or? Yeah. Oh, couldn't be well, worse, really, could uh, it? I wonder if the landlord's no. aware of all this. I don't know. Hey. With the news that the tenant is seriously ill in hospital, Paul phones the landlord to see if she wants to postpone the eviction. The guy is not here. His friend is staying here at the moment because he's actually in, I guess, the Kenton Canterbury. He's just had an operation for bowel cancer. Are we aware of any of this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll say he isn't here, so I can't sort of analyse that situation. Yeah, OK. All right, no problem. So we'll carry on as, as before. The landlord isn't convinced that the tenant is genuinely ill. Uh, I've spoken to the landlord. She, I think there's some difficulty in believing what is the truth and what isn't. Uh, well, I don't know. No, I understand. I'm not drawing you into it. I'm just giving oh, you yeah. the story. Really what. My mobile number is on there. My name is Paul Bowhill. Um, I say, if you take, you've got what you need, we'll go around and make sure everything's locked up, take photographs here. Yeah. Uh, right. It's a criminal offence if anybody breaks back in here. This is just the routine. No, I'm just giving you the routine. It'll be quite a work for um, Have you got a key for the back door? No, there's no key in the back door. There is no, no key, OK. Person. What's your, your poor, you said, isn't it? Well, I've got, have I got a contact number for you? You haven't? No. Well, right, I'll just leave it open. If you need to ring me or get him to ring me, please do so. Ring the landlord. Thank you for yeah, your lady. cooperation. Yeah, all right, sir. Yeah. All yeah. All right, sir. You take care. All right, mate. Bye bye. Just ten minutes after Paul's arrival, the tenant's friend leaves the cottage. That could have gone ugly wrong. Yeah. He's big enough and ugly enough. Could have gone extremely wrong. <sighs> But as Paul does a routine check on the state of the property, he's in for a surprise. Oh dear. That cannabis farm. 
full scale. Wingham in Kent. High Court enforcement agents Paul Bowhill and Phil Short have come to evict a tenant who owes over £3,000 in rent. Hello, Mr. Bowman. No, he's not here. Are you a friend of his, I take it? Yeah. The friend claimed that the tenant was in hospital with cancer. This is all bad timing. Then. This is all awful timing for him, yeah. And left in a hurry. Yeah. All right, sir, you take care. All right, bye bye. But the reason for the man's rapid departure soon became very clear. Oh dear. Cannabis farm. Full scale. Oh, yeah. Full on. Now, the repossessed property has turned into a crime scene. Don't breathe fumes too deeply. It's quite a sophisticated little setup. It's a professional setup, isn't it? Yes. Oh well. I'll call the police now. So, no wonder the bloke wanted to get his ass out of here. My name is Paul Bowhill. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. We're effecting a repossession at a property in Wingham. We've found this full-scale production facility upstairs. Oh, right, you found a drug factory. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's going really well. You know, it's not just a... <laughs> it's not a personal consumption one. This is... It yeah. could supply the whole of Wingham. Uh, but at the minute, we're going to get someone out of in the hour. All Your right. star. Thanks very much. Cheers. No Bye. <laughs> In the light of his discovery, Paul wants to find out more about the absent tenant, Andrew Bowman. So what I was just looking for, to see if there's a photograph which might actually show us the tenant. We're now beginning to doubt whether there is an illness, because there would normally be a load of appointment letters for the hospital. But then, Paul makes an astonishing discovery. The tenant. The man claiming to be house-sitting is actually Andrew Bowman. The police arrive in force. And Paul hands over to the officer in charge. The man who we saw here, who said he wasn't the tenant, we've now found is the tenant. But he's now got a beard, and he's slightly so bald. That's the same bloke. That's the same bloke. Yeah. So there's his passport. That's what he looks like. We haven't disturbed anything. You're in charge. Paul's detective work today 